people, most guests, they're supposed to bring something from the Google. But Danny, you like this big brain. You are the Google. <laughs> So what did you bring us? Actually, Joe, today I did bring something that I didn't write myself. Like these, uh, okay. this is this is some research this that, is, I, that this I did. This is Google. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is this is this. It's a little better than Google, but it's still it's, <laughs> it's not. I'm not quoting from my own book. You've called me out on that before, so I I, I have called you. You on have, that, so. you have. That's right. No, so so I want to talk, Joe, and obviously our, our our audience of business owners out there. I think I think this is really important, right? Because we specialize in marketing, and we we're in here talking about marketing, and you know, ultimately the purpose of of, of a marketing campaign is is to generate leads, right? Um, you know, even branding, awareness, all of that stuff, it ultimately filters down to you need to generate leads so that you can then turn those leads into clients and customers, right? That ultimately is what marketing is all about. Um, but what gets interesting is when you kind of look into, I, I look at it as a handoff, right? It's passing the baton between marketing and sales, right? You can have the best marketing machine in the world cranking out leads. And if you don't have a sales team and a sales process that knows how to respond to those leads, how to speak to those leads intelligently, ultimately how to convert them, well, the marketing, it doesn't matter, right? And, and vice versa. And, and Joe, I know, you know you've, you've been in just about every business you can imagine. You, know, you, you can have the, the opposite problem too, right? Where you got these great salespeople, but their marketing is not dialed in. And so, and so they're getting garbage leads. And, and marketing and well, sales they got to work love, harder. To, to qualify that lead. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, one thing I have observed is, is marketing folks and sales folks love to argue, right? And and the marketing team loves to say, well, all these sales folks suck. They're not doing their job. We're doing our job. They're not doing their job. And meanwhile, sales is over there saying, hey, marketing, you're sending us a lot of leads, but none of them are, are qualified. And and so you get this this back and forth. And so one of the things that we work on, you know, with, with, with our clients is really, you know, creating synergy between the marketing and sales elements of a business because we're generating leads and at the end of the day if our clients don't know how to put a sales system in place to convert those leads what are we doing here you know what i mean which is really a, a completely different set of skill sets completely different set yeah. of skill sets and and so one of the things that we've kind of honed in on and, and and done some research on and also just experienced in 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 firsthand you know experience working with clients business owners don't realize how how important it is to follow up with leads quickly, right? And, and that is one of the sort of key things you have to do. If you're generating leads through digital marketing, online marketing, you have to respond quickly. So the first stat I wanna share, Joe, this one blew my mind, and this is from a HubSpot marketing report, and they've surveyed thousands and thousands of businesses. When a lead reaches out to multiple businesses, the business that responds first wins the client 78% of the time. Really? 78% of the time. So wow. if you're a law firm or a plumbing company or a remote, whatever, and you've got these leads coming in, if your clients are reaching out to multiple businesses to get a quote, which many of them are, if you are the first to respond, you are going to win 78% of the time. Because you then become the benchmark. You become the standard in which they measure all the other uh, responses to. Yeah. And and honestly, a lot of, a lot of consumers don't want to have a whole bunch of sales conversations, right? That's like correct. they may reach out to a bunch of people, but I can't tell you how many times, you know, I've heard, I, I, I do audits and interviews on sales processes. And so we talk to end users. And one of the things they say all the time when I say, so why did you choose this company? Well, they were the first one to get back to me, right? Like we want to hear like, oh, cause their website was so great or cause their brand, but it's like, nope, they were the first one to get back to me. And that's why I hired them. That is interesting. Yeah. And so as a business owner, that's my, I guess my first question for you is what can you do to improve your response time, right? You got to look at it as a race. Lead comes into your email inbox or voicemail or whatever. You've got to have a system in place to get on that quickly. Uh, 70, I can't believe that. 78% of the time, it's a HubSpot, it's a HubSpot survey. I couldn't believe it either. Wow. It, it, it's, it's really, really important. It also, I'll say something else about that too. That's a, that's a statistic specifically when a, 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 a customer is reaching Julie, out to Julie multiple said, businesses. Don't ever question Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Julie. Thank you. Um, but, you know, that's also an argument, by the way, for advertising in places where your clients aren't necessarily getting multiple quotes too, right? Because that's an interesting dynamic on this. When someone goes to Google and they search for a plumbing service, they're usually calling two or three or four people. But if you do different forms of advertising, email marketing, even paid social right. advertising, where you're the only person that they're seeing, well, now you've saved yourself at least some of that time crunch, right? So there's, there, there's some thought to be had about where you're advertising and like, do you want to be showing up on Google where 
five of your competitors are also listed versus advertising somewhere where your competition's not there yet. Right. Okay, interesting. So, so that's okay. number one, right? So speed really matters. Number two, and this, listen, this, this is a surprising and, and challenging statistic, but it's reality. The ideal lead response time is five minutes or less. Now listen to this. You are 21 times more likely to convert a lead if you reach them within the first five minutes than if you wait an hour or longer. Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down, slow down. For example, I was interested, didn't really want to purchase, but I was interested in some additional life insurance because, you know, my boy just got out of college, you know, and I, so I made the mistake <laughs> of going to the Google, asking the question to Google about insurance, and I must have received 80 insurance companies within three minutes right? But the truth is I wasn't actually ready at that moment to make a decision. I just kind of wanted to gather mm -hmm. some information. So am I not common in that case? Because you're saying most people want to make a decision in that first five minutes. Well, you, you, I'm just saying the statistic is that if you respond within five minutes, you have a 21 times more likely you're more likely to convert the lead than if you wait more than an hour. Now, the situation you brought up, Joe, is really interesting. And I'll tell you one thing, like the, the insurance business industry knows this stuff, right? There right. is a reason why you fill out something online and you get bombarded, right? right. But I think when I think about the, the audience for this show, right, a lot of these folks are small business owners, right? Plumbers, lawyers, um, you know, whatever, That's who right. don't necessarily have those marketing systems in place. That's correct. Right. They, they do not. And so I don't think, you know, when I when I share that stat, I tell people, listen, if you can't get back to people within five minutes, that's not the end of the world. Just know that time really, really matters. I have conversations with I was speaking to a lawyer the other day and I'm like, well, so how how often is your team following up with these leads? And he's like, oh, once a week we follow up with everybody all at once. I'm like, once a week? That means you had people that contacted you on Sunday, yeah. and you're not getting back to them on I, Friday. Yeah, That's I, crazy. Uh, my clients call me two days before closing and say they need an attorney. I, <laughs> that is a case where I absolutely will take the first attorney that calls me back. Yeah, exactly. And that, that happens more exactly. than you realize. Exactly. <laughs> it's also an argument, Joe. I'm always telling, I'm always telling folks, you... It's, it's hard as a business owner to have the responsibility of doing sales all by yourself. Like really when you can build your team and have you know a salesperson on your team that can jump on that stuff right away because as a business owner, sometimes you're in a meeting, right? Uh, Danny, I'm gonna tell you, you hit on something. If you don't have a, a lead generation source and process that's not you, you are devaluing your company substantially as a business broker. You are absolutely correct. What you're talking about is not only successful marketing, but it absolutely will reduce or increase the value of your business by not having some type of formal lead generation system that the owner isn't plugged into. Yeah. Yeah, because you just can't do it all as a business owner, right? Like you can't like we're here on the radio, right? right. We can't respond to leads right this moment. And, That's right. And and the other thing that I always share with people is, you know, technology can help you out in this, right? Because sometimes, you know, a lead comes in at three AM. What are you supposed to do? Wake up at, at three AM and call them back? Well, that's where like email automations come in, right? Because you can set it up so that a lead comes in, boom, they get an email from you right away. And then the next morning just when so you all know, Danny taught me that. That's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and, and then you come in the next morning and, and then you can follow up with them personally. So technology is your friend in this area for sure. So, so is the email within five minutes as acceptable as the phone call back in five the minutes? The phone call is ideal, but set up an email as well. And there are so many simple systems you can use to do this. Like MailChimp is easy and free. Uh, set up an email to be instant, but try to have your team call back within five minutes as well. Do both. Or I'm just going to make Julie stay up all night. Wait for that phone call. Oh, Julie's about to fire me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got, you got anything else? Uh, you know, we could talk about this all day, but I think that's a lot for, for, for folks so to get started So go over them with. one more time so, so that they, they can hear that. Yeah, so 78% of the time, if a prospect reaches out to multiple businesses, the one that responds first is going to win 78% of the time. Second, the ideal lead response time is five minutes or less. You are 21 times more likely to convert a lead if you reach them within the first five minutes than if you wait for an hour. Okay. Here's, do I have 20 more seconds? 
Yes. How, all right. So here's the tragedy, which we didn't talk about yet. 55% of businesses surveyed take five days or longer to respond to leads. And 27% of leads are never followed up with at all. Oh. If you're spending money and generating leads and not following up, you are just light that money on fire or flush it down the toilet. It'll save everybody a bunch of time and energy. Wow. Okay, Justin, how much time I got? 10 seconds. If it's Monday afternoon, say it, Danny, say it. Your business matters. We got to work on that. We'll be <laughs> right back. Hey, I'm Rusty, man. Ha, ha, ha.